Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I've got an attacking white pass gameplay for you. And I know as soon as this video begins, you've got many questions for me, and allow me to address the first one. I know that you're probably puzzled as to why we're attacking on white pass, because you think you're used to the concept that we're just going to bust out the noob tubes, and the C4, and the M2 Carl Gustavs, and we're just going to tear through this map. Well, that's an incorrect assumption, because that is not going to occur. What's going to happen is... We're going to arm every single charge traditionally, if you know what I mean. We're not going to use C4, we're not going to use new tubes, none of the rockets, none of that. And this is simply a display, I'm not saying this is the only way to do it or the only correct way to do it. it it's simply a display, I'm not trying to demand it to you just like your uncle in the south who tries to teach you how to fish. This is, this is how you do it, son. And this is how you order up some of them french fried potatoes. I'm not trying to sound like that. It's merely a display. It's, it's not a definite only, like, this is the only way that you can do it correctly. That's not, that's not really what I'm trying to portray here. It's just one way or one display of how I did it correctly. And your second question, second prominent question that most of you are asking probably right now, not out loud, probably inside your brain somewhere. You're asking why I'm using an M2, not the M2, the M1A1, excuse me. I'm going to set the M2 Thompson. That sounds, that sounds drastically incorrect. The M1A1 Thompson, and this was requested by a user with a rather asinine name, I believe it's Mega Monkey Chunk, or something along the lines of that, so, something quite moronic, something that I would never choose as my name on YouTube, but that is his name nonetheless, and I'm not trying to criticize you, whoever you are, if you're watching, but he requested that I use the M1A1 Thompson and the 45 caliber 1911 pistol, and yes, I did make a mistake, I accidentally spawned with the M9, but I switched over to the 1911 just a second here. As I go for that ninja defuse, it was like a Superman tactic, except for Superman doesn't use a parachute, but as you can see here, I'm going to switch my pistol up to his desired setup, which was the M1A1 and the 1911 pistol. Rolling with the old school World War II setup, I don't exactly think that their C4 was as advanced, or their method of explosives was as advanced as C4, but though I am familiar with who invented it, I remember it was Alfred Nobel in the late 1800s, early, I believe it was late 1800s. And the only reason that I can recall that is because I know that he's responsible for the institution of the Nobel Prizes, hopefully you're familiar with those, and I get a nice little double spray with the Thompson here, and that, it's not a frequent occurrence for me, I'm gonna be quite honest with you, just because, oftentimes I was run out of bullets. I mean, per, per shot, the damage is not extremely high for the M1A1 Thompson, but if you want to see some extremely high damage, you should definitely check out my sidearm, my sidearm. And yes, I did just go for some kind of James Bond Superman dive shot with a severely dated submachine gun. And yes, I did fail because obviously Superman doesn't use a parachute, and that's idiotic in itself. But I get sniped here, believe it or not, which is not the most convenient when you're sitting in your spawn. And you can tell, pay attention to that name, Das Warlord. In case you guys don't speak German, in German, Das Warlord is the Warlord. Yeah, Das gefällt mir. Sehr gut. Or should I say, sehr schön. Germans are so odd. Alright, so I, I can't exactly get more than one guy in this specific situation, just because I... It's not the best spraying weapon, and I'm not trying to complain about my weapon here. It's definitely a weapon that I can work with. It's not awful, but Nathan on two, my teammate here... My squad mate, excuse me, he made a great flank. He's going to go straight to A, and I'm going to go to B. And for some reason, this building is completely empty. Oftentimes in White Pass, you'll see a lot of gentlemen just sitting in the building. And this does not occur here. And we have quite we have some shenanigans going on once they start to flood into this building. And I don't know how I didn't die within the first few seconds, but I, I believe I get... Four to five kills, I didn't count specifically because I only watched this once before even commentating over it, but okay, I get one, and then I decide to reload or pull out my pistol, I get two, and then they come up the stairs, I don't know what to do, there's three, oh, there, there's four, and cannot get the fifth, I get mowed down with an Uzi just before I get the fifth, and pay attention to that name, Star Roamer, and if you're not familiar with Star Roamer, a Star Roamer is a person that roams stars, in case you weren't educated on that and just to move on here we're gonna move up to a just because my teammate failed to get a and by no means am I trying to bag or criticize my teammates because I might if I might add 
my teammates are absolutely stellar. Some of the guys that I play with are just amazing. Like, the, I, I believe this specific game was The Art of War 2, Super Dragon, and Nathan Nano 2. And in this situation, I just said, okay, too many guys. I can't spray them all down. So I exited the building. I tried to throw a grenade at the ground to try to get a multi-kill. And it only got a hit marker, which I'm quite saddened about. So I say, hey, I'm going to be a trickster. I'm going to run around the other side. And I'm going to mow him down from the other doorway. See if that works. And then I get one. I get this guy here, and then I I have some kind of weird knife mechanism, although I did get him. And it's rather inconsistent for me. Sometimes the stabbing works, sometimes the swiping works. Maybe I just hit his nominate artery. Maybe it was the arch of his aorta. Whatever I hit, he's dead. And in case you didn't notice, I knifed Das Warlord, the Warlord in German. And I also shot the Roamer of Stars, also known as Star Roamer. So keep in mind that I've got the last kill on Star Roamer, and we've got quite the showdown coming up in just a few minutes here. And one other quite humorous event that I do want to identify for you guys is what happened to a squad mate of mine. His name's Super Dragon. I believe he was Assault for the beginning part of this game, and then he switched over to Recon. But I'm not sure what happened. It was the most absurdly insane thing. What happened was he would just break into a room, like such as the room with the objective, he would just be busting off rounds, just dumping his clip into enemies, and then all of a sudden, the other squad mates, such as myself, we would just roll in and steal his kills. I'm not sure if it was this game, but I'm pretty sure it is. He got something like six or seven or eight assists in one room. It was the most comedic thing. We were all laughing at him, and it was hilarious. And I actually pondered about this afterwards, and I'm fairly certain that I was the only one laughing after a while, because I was the one that was stealing the majority of his kills. And it... In just a few moments here, you're going to see something else that is quite humorous in my opinion. And that's going to be a, I believe the official term, or the more formal term, is called peekaboo. And that's a game where your parents hold their hands over their face, and then they open them up, and it's some kind of surprise game. And little does this guy know that I played peekaboo quite frequently when I was a child, so obviously I'm going to emerge victorious from this battle. There you go. Ready? 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 Peekaboo, see you later. And of course, that was Star Roamer, also known as the Roamer of Stars, the guy that I'm having a bit of a feud with. And believe it or not, as soon as I shoot him, I'm going to pull out of this small barn and or shed here, and believe it or not, he's going to kill me. I didn't, I didn't expect this, I didn't see this coming, and for some reason, I don't know how he did it, because if you look closely here, I have my reticle on him the entire time, I don't know how he did it, maybe it's just some kind of ninja ducking maneuver, but the Roamer of Stars bests me once again, but I will have the last laugh. I hate to spoil this because I'm quite the spoiler of movies. Well, this is not a movie, it's a video, but still, I'm going to spoil this for you. I do get the last laugh. As we pull up to the final objective here at B, I get this lurking gremlin in the corner. I don't know what he's doing. I pull up here, I get the recon, and then I go for the medic, I go for the knife because I'm out of ammo. And I can't really pull it off. Well, I was out of ammo for my secondary. I didn't move to my primary quickly enough, and I went for the knife ahead of time. And obviously I get slayed, but I will have the last laugh. Don't you worry. I'm going to spawn on the Art of War 2. And yes, somehow the Super Dragon left. I don't know why. And I'm going to get revenge. I'm going to get revenge on the Medic, and I'm going to get revenge on Star Roamer. Are you ready? I don't know how I didn't kill him there, but there you go, Star Roamer. That, that, you know what that's called? That's just called emerging victorious from a battle of epic proportions, okay? And we eventually do get B destroyed. And as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And I do welcome all your criticisms and or complaints. If you want to write down a hate comment or a love comment, feel free. If you want to write down a hate comment, by all means, I would rather have you take out your anger here than on your sibling or on your apartment wall. So by all means, I accept all criticisms and or critiques, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.